In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add your media to Sony Vegas, meaning your video clips or your audio files or even still photos. So what you want to do in Sony Vegas is make sure you have this guy selected, Project Media. And then we have these options right here where we can add media. And I'll talk about all these options throughout this video. But first, I want to add some media. So I'm going to click right here. And that's going to come up with the Windows Explorer window. And you just select the spot or folder on your hard drive where you have your media. And one of the really cool things about Sony Vegas is that it can work with all types of media at the same time. For example, I've got clips here from a DSLR camera. I've got AVCHD video from a traditional video camera. I've got an audio file. I've got a still photo. I even have a screen recording. And again, Vegas can work with all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all these guys and open them up. And you'll see that thumbnail images of each appear in this window right here. And again, all this stuff can be resized if need be so you can see better. All right. Now, what I want to point out is when I add stuff to Sony Vegas like this, it's not moving it from where it actually is on your hard drive. Your media is always going to stay exactly where it is on your hard drive. And Vegas is just referencing that media and displaying it in this window. Okay, so we've got these options here under all media. This default is obviously going to show all of the media we added. Then we've got media bins, which I'll get to in just a second. And then we can filter this by type. Okay, so I added multiple types here. And if I twirl down, now I can say, hey, I only want to look at my audio files or my video files or my still images. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now for the media bins, what it allows you to do is filter things kind of in a custom way. Okay, say for example, I've got a couple clips here of a girl dancing, and I want to put this in a media bin just for organizational purposes where I have all my dancing clips. So what I would do is I would go to media bin, right click on it, choose create new bin, and I'll name this dance. I'm going to go back up to all media, and for my dance clips, I'm just going to grab them and pull them to that bin. Now you notice they still appear in the all media bin because this is showing everything. But now if I go to just dance, okay, I've only got the dance clips. So the media bins is something that, you know, it helps you organize. You may or may not want to use it. If I want to get rid of this guy, I can right click and choose delete. And it's going to delete the bin. But again, that media is still going to be there. Okay, now real quickly, I want to show you how easy it is once you've got your media imported to start working with it. All you have to do is grab something that you want and pull it down here to the timeline. Now Vegas, Vegas is going to squawk at me with a couple of messages. I'll talk more about these in the upcoming videos. But it will go ahead and add the video track and the audio track and your media is going to be right there. And we'll get more into this as we talk about editing videos. Okay, now let's go back up here to the other options we have under Project Media. Okay, let's say you've got all sorts of clips in here and it's getting hard to search through. Well, you can simply use the search option here. You can go here to change the view to list, details, or thumbnail. Thumbnail is the default. It's likely going to be the one you want to use. And then the final guy I want to talk about is this one, auto preview. Right now, as I go through these clips, it's just a thumbnail image. And I can't exactly see maybe what's in the clip. If I click on auto preview, what it will do for each clip that I click on, over in the preview window, it's going to start playing the video so I can get a better sense of you know, what that video is about. Okay, Or if I don't want to do that, I can simply uncheck Auto Preview. And then the remaining options you likely won't use much. Here we have Media Properties, and that's just going to give you some information about the clip that you have selected. If I want to remove this clip from Sony Vegas, but again, it's not removing it from my hard drive. I would just click X or optionally what I can do is I can highlight something and just hit the delete key and that'll get rid of it. And then they have this option here where you can get media from the web and this is kind of a promotional thing for Sony. You likely don't want to go into there. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about adding your media to Sony Vegas.